Why are you guys so obsessed with Lomics? Like honestly, I feel scared, elated, anxious. I can't sleep at all. <clears throat> Let's see. It was up X bottles, and we have Kelly. She's hanging out with us today. Hey, hey. Basically because I can't do anything else because I don't have my wallet, so I can't drive anywhere. Let's see what we got here. Kelly, do you ever call wings Ling Ling? No. Why would I? They, they ask the dumb stuff. Hey, Wings, I want to seriously apologize for stuff I said in the past. Trolls really showed me where the TikTok has gone too far. Dude. I, I I accept your apology, but like, how did you not know people that that actively attack people won't go too far? Okay, but pause. Some of the stuff they do makes it look like it's real, real. Okay, and there's a big difference in being like like the other night, the dude whoever sent the chili. There's a big difference in sending chili yeah. and sending the cops. Okay. Just saying. Chil like, Chili's, that's trolling. That's, I, that's shit I can get behind. And that's what I'm saying. That's why he didn't know the difference. So, I mean, if he didn't realize, you know, because there's some things I laugh at. By the way, I read a comment, Sam Sosa. He's at work. Have a good day at work, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. But, yeah, th I mean, there's a huge difference in some of the stuff that happens. I mean, I enjoyed the great DoorDash Chili. That was breakfast and lunch for like two days. Ooh, where's Somebody says they'll donate $20 if I give you a kiss. They, I think they want lips. Oh, we can do lip? Mm -hmm. Where's the money? Oh, screw it. I get to kiss you. Mm -hmm. That was a bad one. That was a bad one. You know that's from the control channels, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. As long as you're aware. Oh, she, he's got some great stories from his childhood. Which story you want me to tell? You want his favorite meal from childhood? Have you told him the spaghetti story? Because oh I love the spaghetti story. Spaghetti story. <sighs> we got to tell the spaghetti story now since she's brought it up. So... This isn't the best story in the world, but like my mother had the worst fucking spaghetti growing up. And when I say the worst spaghetti, like, I'm talking about bottom of the barrel, why didn't you just get Chef Boyardee spaghetti story? Like, see, my mother was a single mother. She had t two kids for the most part. I mean, my sister came much later when she was more established in life. But she had me and my brother really early. And we lived in Section 8 housing. So we didn't have a whole lot of motherfucking money. But she prided herself on, on wanting to fix dinner at least twice a week. That was a home cooked meal, right? And Mondays was always spaghetti night. She would get off work and she wanted to she wanted to cook something, and she would always choose spaghetti. But like we didn't have a whole lot of motherfucking money, so like if you don't have a whole lot of money, spaghetti's a great meal, right? But she cheaped out on the spaghetti itself. Like um, she basically went and got the the basement noodles. You know, like the food line brand noodles, which that that's not the, the terrible part of the story. The terrible part of the story is she didn't get like the ragu. You know, she didn't opt for like the five dollar bottle of ragu. She went and got the the dollar ninety nine spaghetti sauce in a can. And some of you might wonder, like, how do what is what the fuck is spaghetti sauce in a can? Like, it's literally canned spaghetti sauce that says like I don't know, marvelous meat flavor or some shit like that on the side of it. Didn't it have like little bits of meat too? Yeah, it does have little bits of meat, like the ground. Because, like, you don't, you know, like, normally a person that's cooking spaghetti will, like, ground some beef or something. Nah, not my mama. Like, the sauce had ground beef already in it. So what she did, she'd get an onion and chop it up and put it in this can of spaghetti sauce. And that was our meal. It was the worst shit ever. She would take light bread and she'd put, like, garlic seasoning on it and one big square butter right in the middle. How's fit before 40 going? <laughs> Rough, let me tell you. So, I mean, like... I, before you talk about, it, I want to talk about, it. like, I, because that's a condescending comment. And let, here's what you don't understand, right? My wife had thyroid cancer, so my wife's on a concoction of different medications and medicines. And sometimes 
she doesn't feel real well. And like, especially recently, she's been going through another situation where like she could have had another cancerous growth in her throat. And like, her medicine has been off. So like, she hasn't been doing as well as she could have lately. But she has a lot on her plate. And like, to be, to be like a condescending ass, which, I, you know, you can play it off like you're not trying to be, but that's what you are. Because the reason he's asking her about it is because she hasn't updated it in a while. And she, you know, that's the reason he's asking her about it. I mean, he, 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 could, he could take the, the high route and be like, Oh no, I was actually concerned. I enjoyed the series. But, you know, like, I didn't take it that way. I never told her to grow up and deal with it. <clears throat> As you confusing my southern accent with words. Hey, fair enough. I'm super stoked to finally see you, happy man. Been a rough couple years. Ah, uh, you're talking about for you or me? Like, cause like, <laughs> it's like I, I wouldn't consider my life rough. Like, like, like I wouldn't go that far. Like, people fuck with me hard. You created all of this? No, I didn't. What I did was I got mad on a video game, and people created this. I like. Was it my actions that, that caused this? Yes. But, like, how many times do you have to... How many times do you got to suffer before you've paid for your sins, right? Okay, question. What video game did you get mad at? Call of Duty World at War, World when War II. When was this? 2017. Okay, so... I stood you up back in 2014? Mm-hmm, yes. That was a way worse video... ...than the 2017 one. Well, to you it was. I feel like the 12 year old comment, I've said this in this stream as well, was something he said when he was young. He was doing it as a shock doc value. He's matured now and understands that comment is not appropriate. It, it, that's a, that's a terrible take. <laughs> okay. Um, that's my take. I don't want to talk about this, but I'll talk about it. First off, I'm not advocating underage sex, right? What I was advocating for is people getting child pornography charges from, like, people that are, you know, like, like, it's not even called child pornography anymore. It's called, what's it called? It's called, like, sex, child sexually explicit material or some shit like that. It's a much looser definition. Regardless, like when I was in uh, when I was in school, and I, I'm, I'm sure other people will see this as well. Like, girls started hoeing around right around ninth grade. And you'd have dudes on their phones, and I, I remember back in the day, and this kind of dates myself. One of the very first phones that you could take pictures on was like a, a Motorola Razor. <clears throat> so like when toward the end of my high school reign you'd have dudes with all kinds of like technically child porn on their phone because like every girl but you granted we were the same age at that point but like I don't know it's like I don't advocate it now but the, the idea was saying it was like like some of these girls be hoeing around and like some people some girls will send that shit to you just to get you in trouble okay but you're saying ninth grade, and I agree with them. Ninth grade isn't 12. Ninth grade is like 14. Ninth grade is like 13, dude. It all depends on what 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 year you went in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. But you get you get a lot of 13 year olds and shit like that. I mean, hell, like when I was in when I was in when I was in eighth grade, which is 12, if you want to get to that technical eighth grade, we had girls that got got caught, you know, sucking dick under the bleachers. And I'm not trying to say that this should be the, the merit there. But, like, do I do I think... No, I, I disagree with that statement. But the statement was said as a shock jock statement. But I'm trying to rationalize why it was said. And, like, all this is going to do is make me have to delete this stream, too. Because they're actually baiting you to try to get me banned off YouTube. That's what they're actually doing. Okay. He can't marry Lumix. He's already married. All right, we got a pretty good river. So let's go find the waypoint. 
<laughs> Monkey thinks you should ban anyone taking the bait. You want to ban me? No, not really. I mean, like, I just wish people would stop bringing shit like that up. Like, honestly. It's like, it was said as a shock jock. It fucking worked. You know why? PK makes $100,000 a year and I get to suffer the consequences of it. So, like, that's the life I live, right? And I'm, and it, like, it comes off like I'm bitter. I'm not bitter. I don't, I don't hate anybody. Like, it's just not, I, I'm not the type of person that could constantly keep mad at somebody. It's just not who I am. How much, what does that do? How much do I spend on chili a month? In the last month, zero dollars. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't eat it for the most part. Like, if we go to Wendy's, I might get it. But, like, lately, the only time I ever go to Wendy's is for breakfast, and they don't serve it for breakfast. And the only reason I go for Wendy's for breakfast is their potato wedges. The trolls bring a vast majority of the views. Not really. <clears throat> I mean, you could say, you could, like, the way it looks, that the trolls bring a vast majority of my viewers. Like. Because the squeaky wheels get the creeps. Mm hmm. But what you don't understand is if I, if I turned on if I turned on Twitch right now, which is a platform I was way more known on, right? And I played Apex, I'd have 800 viewers that weren't trolls. Like what you're doing is you're like, you created a scenario where you forced me off of a platform I was on for 10 years into another platform where I'm growing on. And you want to be like, oh, you're failing. The only reason you have success is us. That's not true. Where were all the trolls at when I was building my own success? <sighs> about religious now? I don't think about religion. <sighs> Renzer wants to visit someday. He says he's not a troll. Yeah, you, my, my address is very easy to find. Just look up Band World. Who's a better cook, me or my wife? My wife. I don't cook. We were just having this conversation because, like, she likes to watch Guy Ferreira's, like, what's that shit called? Grocery Guys, games. Grocery games. Yeah. And I'm like, people always want to make out, like, eating at the store is cheaper. I mean, like, technically it is. Like, you could get a Red Baron pizza cheaper than you can go get a Domino's pizza, right? For the most part. And Domino's is trying their best to, keep, to make that not a thing, right? But, most part, a Red Baron pizza costs cheaper than a Domino's pizza. But, like, what you don't understand is, like, Red Baron's a bad example, but you got a tray you got to clean, you got to clean the cutters, you got, you got, you got to pay for the electricity, you got to go pay for the gas to go get it. Which, you know, you'd have to do that with fast food as well, but, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it's not, it, it's close, right? And, and Red Baron's, you know, disposable, you know, somewhat fast food itself, but, like, I was saying, like, why pay $34 to make a lasagna from scratch when you could just get a Stouffer's for 12 Thoughts on mods banning too much people? I do think the mods overban, but, like, but th who am I to be like, yo, you're taking your time out of your day to come here and moderate my shit to help me out. I'm not going to yell at him for it. Pam, I'm going to give you this because I'm charitable. Shout out Lumix. 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 See, I can't. I he's not important enough. I know his first name. He's a hired hoodlum. Hey, Hoodl hoodlums is what my my fan base is called at this point. Because they do all that criminal shit. Would you consider yourself privileged? I I do sit on a seat of privilege. Yes. I would say we're definitely, and you'll disagree with my wording here, blessed. Yeah, 100% we're I mean, blessed. I mean, we live a life where we don't have to worry about where, you know, what roof we're going to have over our head. That's true. Sometimes you need a fresh person to see how lucky you are. Oh, I know I, I sit in a seat of privilege. Like, I play video games for fucking living, man. Like, there's downsides to it. People fuck with you hard. But, like, there's, 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 there's upsides to it as well. Like, if I wanted to wake up this morning and not do anything... Ain't a motherfucker in the world that's gonna be like, "Hey, you need where you at?" 